What I want to share with you in this video is my mental process for how I think am I making good decision and how I apply that to business. This video comes from um, a question that one of my uh, leaders asked. He said, you know, something to the extent of, I want you to keep challenging me. And I said, what do you want? Uh, what do you feel most challenged by right now? Um, and he said, decision making. I feel like that's where I'm, I need to get better. And so I, I felt called to make this video because it's something that I wrote down a lot of thoughts about to share with him. And I just want to share it with everybody. So I think that in terms of, there's always the question, which is how do I know I'm making the right decision? And I think that this is what causes so much uncertainty in business and paralyzes a lot of people and stops their businesses from growing is they just don't know if they're making the right decision or even how to judge if a decision is good. And so here's the two questions that I use to ask myself. And it's the same question, just uh, one aired negatively, one aired positively. One is if I make it this decision or one of this nature every day, for the rest of my life, what would my life look like? That's the first one, right? So if I decided to eat this whole pizza every day for the rest of my life, what would my life look like? I'd be fat and glued to a couch, right? If I were to speak to this person on my team every day for the rest of my life, what would it look like? The team would probably hate you, right? Um, if, if it means you're yelling at somebody or something to that extent. Now, aired on a positive note, I would say if I were to make this decision or one like this every day, what would my life look like? Think of it positively, which is like if I were to empower people like this every day, if I were to praise people like this every day, if I were to think through my decision and put space between the action and the response to the action, what would my life look like? And so I think that that's the first thing that I ask myself is just if I were to do this every day for the rest of my life, what would my business and my life look like? And that guides a lot of decision making for me because I think that that is looking at are you succumbing to what feels good in the moment or are you delaying gratification for long-term satisfaction um, and that's kind of how i help myself delineate between that the second thing i think through is two things which i just feel like they're very relevant because i think in business it's typically one of these two things that causes us to make bad decisions which is just am i rushed or am i emotional if i'm either of those things then i don't make a decision i just won't i'm like all right well, i have to wait until i'm either not emotional or i'm not rushed because good decisions stay far away from either of those things. <laughs> like you will not find anyone who's made a good decision because they were emotional or rushed, at least not anyone that I know. And then I wrote down a couple of things um, in terms of why I see people make poor decisions in business. And I, it's also because I've done these myself and I've worked so closely with so many entrepreneurs who have done them, okay? One is they're bored. And so oftentimes the decision is to start something new to add complexity to the business because they're simply just bored. I would say in this situation, get a hobby, like find something else to do, like build relationships, friendships, like learn fly fishing, like anything but adding more complexity to your business because your business probably, it's funny because people think in the moment that it's not a big deal, but in reality, a lot of the times it's going to come and bite you in the butt later on because any small thing adds a lot of complexity to a business. The second and probably the most rampant is anxiety, is that a lot of people make decisions out of anxiety in business. And what do I mean by that is a lot of entrepreneurs have this anxious energy. They have this need to perform, this need to get this, this, this something out of them, right? And I've had that something my whole life. And I've, until in the last year or maybe year and a half, I, I've, I do not now use business to do that. And I see now that that was what pre prevented me for a long time from progressing was I had this urge and I felt like it was like some people go to the gym and work out to get rid of that feeling but a lot of people also use their business to get rid of that feeling. And so if you're making a decision that you feel like will cause you relief in some way, and it's not relief in a, in a logical way, but like emotional relief, um, I would pause and ask yourself why you're making that decision because often it's out of trying to get away from this feeling of anxiousness or to even just get out the anxiousness by working more and working harder on something. And when in reality is you can find other ways to channel that outside of work that won't add the complexity to your business. And then the last thing I would say is that you're distracting yourself from other things in life. And so a lot of people make decisions in business. People like to say that their decisions are logical, but most decisions aren't logical um, because humans like to follow their emotions. And so a lot of people get really, really good at business. And so they want to add more. They would rather just continue to do more of business and less of everything else. And so if there's a moment of lapse or a moment of room or of space in the business where they don't have like an extremely full plate, then they just want to add more to it. And they use that as a justification to make decisions that add more to their plate. And the reality is, is that they, they're doing that and they're, 
in trying to avoid the thing that you were bad at, you were just getting worse at it. In most cases, I would say look at what you're not doing in life and the other areas of life where you could put that energy um, and take it away from your business because you're just adding complexity. Overall, I think that those are the things that are the most, those put you most at risk for making a bad decision is making it based off that. And I think that overall, the what I see in so much of, especially online business space, is there's just a ton of businesses built off of compulsions, which when I say that, I mean like people feel badly about something and they're you know trying to prove something. They're trying to get this horrible anxious energy out. They're trying to you know run away from a problem. And so they put that energy into the business and then I think, you know, to start a business, you need something like that, often like some kind of fear or something you're running away from. But to keep a business going, you're just going to like entangle yourself. You actually create this prison of compulsions that is called a business and it is extremely complex and chaotic. And the interesting thing is that most people and you too, if you haven't yet and you this relate, you can relate to this at all, will wake up one day and see that you actually no longer want to do that. And if you have put if you have created that as your business, you've created this chaos of complexity um, because of all these compulsions you have, then it will be very hard to reverse um, and it will be tedious to reverse. And so what is much easier is just to ask yourself, and what would be much easier is just to go get a hobby or something. And that's why I think they're important, but really it's just to be mindful of how you're making decisions and asking yourself, am I just adding complexity by doing this? And maybe is it serving me in some way that maybe it serves me now in the short term, but doesn't serve my long-term growth and development in the long term. And so I hope that that was helpful. Um, overall, a good phrase to keep in mind is if it doesn't feel that good, it's probably a good decision. <laughs> Because usually the decisions that feel really good, they are emotional. And so if you think about it, right, it's like they're emotional decisions. And so a lot of the times the decision that makes the most sense and is the most logical and practical for your business doesn't really feel much of anything. It's kind of just like is what it is. It's not super exciting. It's not super devastating. It's just usually small little decisions. There's usually not a ton of big things that need to be done. And so I hope this video is useful. If it was, go ahead, hit subscribe. I will see you on the next one.